is going to be the scars and eyeliners. And a little note, this is actually filmed on the same day as my lip products one. I just kind of wanted to change it up a bit, that's why I've got the hat on. But um, yeah, this is mascaras and eyeliners. And again, it's in another one of these boxes from my 4 draw stack thing. Um, I seem to have more pencil eyeliners than I do liquid eyeliners. And I don't have a lot of mascaras. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is from ELF. This was in that makeup swap I got when I did with Megan Makeup 20. We're going to be doing another one and I'm really, really excited for that. We're like, because we keep talking to each other about it and it's just like, I can't wait. <laughs> but anyway, back to this. Um, this is the ELF Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. You can tell I've used the brow one quite a bit because it's gone really, really kind of mucky. Um, and I do use the mascara. It's really, really nice. Um, this one is in crystal, I believe. It's really, really, really nice. Keeps all the hairs in my eyebrows in place. And the mascara is absolutely brilliant as well. It's great for if I'm going to like college and I don't want to wear like full on black mascara or anything, but it's really, really nice. And uh, next one is actually also from my eye, um, also from my eyebrows, and the writing is actually rubbed off on this one, and this is the HD Brows Brow Beauty. I got this in a glossy box last year, and I actually had a problem with glossy box, that's why I don't get it anymore. Um, but it's really, really good. This, this is just a sample one. Really, really good. Again, keeps the hairs in my eyebrows in place and everything. Absolutely brilliant. Um, this is from Avon and this is just in black. This was in that um, bargain makeup bag I got. Um, and this is their Super Kill Lashes Mascara. And this is what the one looks like. Absolutely adore this mascara. It makes my lashes look really nice. Keeps it's a really, really good, really good mascara. It does hold the curl pretty nicely. Then I have a collection's longer lash length in a mascara, and this one's from Boots, I believe. This is just in black. Um, really, really good mascara. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, very nice, very lengthening, good formula. And it doesn't actually smell too bad because I have this thing that if the mascara smells like really, really horrible, I won't use it. Um, but it is a pretty good mascara, and I do recommend it. Um, this next one I also got from Boots and I'd heard so many people on YouTube rave about it, I've read so many reviews about it and I wanted to try it out for myself and that's the Maybelline The Falsy Sled um, mascara. Looks like this, really nice packaging, really nice and simple. I love the wings on the lid. It's got a bendy wand right there and um, this is what the wand looks like. Lovely formula again. It smells okay, so that's alright. And it does actually give you a little guide on how you can use it as well. Um, really, really like this. This is still my first Maybelline mascara I've got. I haven't actually bought any replacements for this, um, and I've still got lipstick on my hand. Um, but uh, I do tend to use this one a lot, so it could be quite possible that I'll be needing another one of them soon. Uh, this next one was actually the first ever mascara I bought, and this is the NYC Showtime Volumizing Mascara. Love this mascara to bits. Really, really amazing. You can see that. Um, great mascara, very, very affordable. So if you're looking for affordable mascara, I do recommend that one quite a lot. And then this next one that I won in a giveaway, and this is the Rimmel Scandalized Show Off Mascara. I love the wand on this. Looks like this. It's great for getting all the little baby lashes that you can't normally get and all the ones in like the inner corner of your eye and everything. Nice formula. Absolutely amazing. Probably my favourite mascara alongside the Maybelline Falsies one. And then this one is possibly the only coloured mascara I've got and this is from the NUA and it's in electric blue. I believe it's shade 6. And I use this in my Spider-Man Halloween tutorial. It's a really nice blue colour, really, really nice formula as well. Great. Then okay. moving on to uh, liquid eyeliners. Um, I have this black one from ELF. Um, and I also got this in my makeup swap. This is actually a really, really good 
eyeliner, very precise, nicely pigmented, it dries pretty easily actually stays for a long time as well, so I do recommend that one. Um, this one I got in a bargain bucket like thing from um, Asda because they have like all the makeup and then they have like a little uh, one that like a reduced pricing and this is the Rimmel Glamize Professional Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Plum and I was actually looking for a purple eyeliner this one is amazing really nice pigmentation so it's a lovely colour as well um, okay, a random thing that's in here is my eye primer, and I actually need a new one because the lid's broke on it. It still works, um, I'm actually running out of it, so I need a new one anyway, because I do tend to use this one a lot. Um, but, if there's any, like, eye primers that you can recommend, please love it. Liquid eyeliner I've got is this one from Miss Sporty. This was in my uh, Christmas stocking, and this is in Top Metal, and it's just a nice silver. Very nice and precise, looks a nice colour as well. But to use one collection, this is the Glamize, no, Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner. This one's in the one Glitch, and this one's in Night Fever, which is a real nice, bl uh, nice blue. Bought these for Halloween tutorials still The liquid eyeliner I have is from MUA, and this is in shade 2. It's like a real nice turquoise colour. My only beef with this one is it takes absolutely ages to take off. It's lovely, great pigmentation, absolute pain to get off, but it's amazing. Um, and then finally, the last liquid eyeliner I have in here is the Collection Extreme 24 hour felt tip liner. Love this one, it's still going strong, because I haven't used it all yet, but it's kind of fading on me, so I may need to get another one, but absolutely love it a bit. Um, and then another random thing that I have here is from this collection, and it's in Glam Glitter. I got this one from Poundland, I believe. It's the Loose Glitter, so you've got fixing gel and loose glitter. And so finally, for pencil eyeliners, I've got two NUA Intense Colour ones in Jet Black. Um, I actually bought this one as a replacement for this one because I'm nearly run out of this one, and I have actually used that one because I forgot I still had this one. Um, great pigmentation on them, absolutely amazing. Um, another one is also from MUA, and I actually need another one of these. It's a um, white eyeliner. This one's in Snow White. Really great eyeliner. I've been using this I quite a lot lately. And um, just wear black eyeliner on my lower waterline. Now I wear white eyeliner on my lower waterline because it makes my eyes look bigger and lose a lot more awake. Um, and then I have a royal blue one. I do use this one a little bit as well, but it's a really, really great colour, that one. And um, this is an intense glitter in Blue Babe. Really great colours, absolutely amazing pigmentation. They're all MUA. Um, this one's from Collection, and this is a coal eyeliner in brown. Um, I haven't actually used this one. And uh, I know why now, because it takes a while to get it. Um, the colour you want out of it. Then I have three things from Avon. This is a colour trend eyeliner in black. That is actually one of the first eyeliners I ever had. It is really, really good. Um, this is a Glimmer Stick Diamonds in Twilight Sparkle. Use this one in a tutorial before. I absolutely adore it. And I really like the Twist Up eyeliners as well. They're really good. And then this one, which I've been using a lot lately and possibly need another one, is the Super Shock Gel Eyeliner, the pencil version. Absolutely love this to bit. I've got a pot gel eyeliner, I think that's in with my single eyeshadows. Um, but these are pretty amazing and the same power on them is awesome. Um, and I have a L'Oreal Paris one here. This is in Rich Raisin. I got this in my uh, makeup swap. I think this is a twisty up one, but it's just not twisting. It's like a very nice uh, bronzy colour. That one. And then I also got this in my uh, makeup as well. And this is the L Shimmer Eyeliner in Black Bandit, I believe. It's just like a glitter eyeliner. But that one's really, really good. And it's very similar to the MUA ones. And then finally, these last two are from that colour workshop box I got. And there's black and brown. These are pretty good. 
I like the brown one. I have used the brown one quite a lot as well. They are really amazing. I think they are, that's it for eyeliners and mascaras. Not as what is like lipsticks, but anyway. Next one it's possibly going to be single eyeshadows and then I will do eyeshadow palettes when I can figure out how to set my tripod up without it falling over because it's kind of sat on my eyeshadow palettes at the minute. So yeah, here you all have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye! There's a place